Hi there, Sage Candidate of VO2 Max Productions here uh, in southwest Boulder. I'm at the base of the infamous NCAR hill climb. It's at the top of Table Mesa Drive. Uh, and it's this 1.2 mile uphill segment that goes up to the National Center for Atmospheric Research, NCAR. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm on a bike today. Uh, been enjoying some of the cross training on my new uh, specialized Olay aluminum frame, uh, carbon fork, whatever that means. And uh, yeah, just been having fun with it. I haven't rode more than 20 miles on any given ride, and I think it's my tenth time using the the clip clipless, I guess they're called clipping whatever pedals. Uh, but I'm gonna try to do the segment pretty hard today. It's basically a VO2 max blast, is what I call it. I don't know what cyclists call it, but uh, it's a really hotly contested segment here on Strava in Boulder, Colorado. A lot of pros do it. Guys from around the world. Uh, it's a short segment, 1.2 miles, about a 7% average uphill grade. Uh, King of the Mountains, Tom Danielson with a 439. Granted, he was he did test positive for synthetic testosterone, so uh, the verdict's out on that still, but it's a, that's a killer time. Uh, so it's gonna be a lot of suffering, a lot of pain, but hopefully get the heart rate up and uh, see what we can do on this climb. Should be fun. So I have the GoPro on my helmet here. Not sure how that's gonna work, so I'm probably gonna be thrashing around, but uh, did I say this was a hotly contested segment on Strava? I think I did. Over 29,000 registered rides up this bad boy from over 3,500 different riders and again a lot of pros so uh, we'll see what we could do still trying to figure out the the gearing I don't even know if I beat my best time from when I first rode a bike like three weeks ago. It's pretty rough. Very poorly paced. I was way too amped up at the start. I was cranking a high gear from the first minute. Went lactate. Oh, the lactic acid hurt. Kind of locked up, tried to regroup, couldn't really regroup. You got to kick hard the last uh, quarter mile here because it flattens out and I just don't have the power right now. Also running 100 miles. I'm trying to run 100 miles this week, so. Uh, there's that, but I'm gonna keep working on it. It's a lot of fun. Great bike, great fun. It's it's so much more. It's really cool to cruise uphill a lot faster than I could run up this hill. So feel good about the effort. And uh, thanks for watching. Really hope uh, your training's going well. Stay tuned for more training talks. Be sure to subscribe and share them on social media. I'll talk about cross training with a bike, as well as uh, ultra distance, ultra specific racing. I saw that comment got a lot of votes already. So. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more VO2 Max Productions. All right, so now I have the Strava analysis. Uh, I peered by a couple seconds on the end car. It's pretty pathetic. Um, 56th rank now out of 3,601. Uh, pretty far down on the list. Not what I wanted at all. Uh, but you can see where I went wrong. Uh, so I was pulling well, I died at the end. I didn't. I didn't kick very well. Um, so for the end car segment, uh, I think we were around 300. Uh, was a 340 watts Strava estimate. Don't know how accurate that is. Um, but the first part of end car, um, we'll find it here. Just a minute. Oh, sprint at base. That's what it's called. Uh, I started out way too fast. So you could see. 
uh, 16th, type your 16th overall there with a list of some formidable, formidable cyclists. Uh, yeah, so end card, the whole segment, 345 estimated wattage. Um, on that first part, I think we were over 400 watts estimated, which is way too hard, way too fast. It totally went uh, anaerobic really fast, even though my heart rate was only 168 average. So totally messed it up. Uh, pacing on the bike is not the same as running, but I will be back.